Mr. Chair. Um, I have a question related to um, uh, one of my constituents, uh, Kevin from Whatcom County. He's a 50-year-old man who's self-employed, whose wife is also self-employed, and they have two children. Um, Kevin's family currently purchases coverage through the Washington State Exchange and receives premium tax assist assistance. They're able to get a bronze plan for $500 per month, and they say that they simply cannot afford health care without the democratic reforms in the current law. Kevin wrote to me recently and said, we are not poor, we are hardworking small business owners, and the emphasis is on small. We are struggling middle. We just make ends meet, pay estimated taxes, scrimp to save for school and activities payments, pay down our debts, try to eat well, and hope that our kids will be able to have great opportunities. We need the Affordable Care Act, end quote. I've heard some, from so many constituents who share Kevin's concerns. They're middle-class families who are just struggling to get by and who are absolutely terrified by what the Republican bill has been proposing. Now, here we are talking about repealing a tanning tax. Is there anything in this subtitle that would help a family like Kevin's and their access to health care? Uh, Ms. Delbeni, the, the provision before us is really solely just about the excise tax on tanning services. And so um, both this subtitle and the previous subtitle um, repeal taxes and don't directly have any impact on health care for any of my constituents or frankly anyone in this country. Is that correct? The, the, tanning, uh, the tanning tax uh, does not affect coverage. Um, I also have a constituent named uh, Donna Jo. Donna Jo is from Lake Stevens, Washington. Donna Jo's uh, uh, contacted me to talk about her younger sister who didn't have health insurance before the ACA because she was always un or underemployed. Thanks to the ACA, she has insurance now. And as a result, she didn't face financial ruin when she suffered three blood clots in the brain which put her in the hospital and on various medications for over a year. She wrote to me and said without the ACA, she would have skipped medical care and died from her medical issues. Again, we are talking about repealing a tax, a tanning tax um, that would cost us $600 million, is that correct? Our revenue estimate is $600 million for the 10-year budget period, yes. Um, okay, so $600 million. We talked about the previous subtitle that would cost $400 million. So, so far we're talking about a uh, billion dollars and um, nothing that we can say directly would impact, a impact someone like Donna Jo and her sister or Kevin, um, the constituent I was talking about earlier. Is that correct? Okay. I would say uh, no effect one way or the other. Um, no, so no, direct no, fact, no, these are not coverage provisions, they're not uh, subsidy provisions. So we're not actually talking about health care at all when we are really should be talking about health care for all Americans and making sure all Americans have access to affordable quality health care. All we've been talking about so far um, has been repealing a tax on insurance companies, repealing a tax on tanning beds, um, creating a cost of a of, of billion dollars to the Treasury and not having any impact. We don't have a CBO score that talks about an impact. Uh, we, we don't know how coverage is impacted by any of this legislation. Um, so I, I, I'm very concerned. I, I think all we can do right now is, um, is highlight that we are, we are repealing taxes on tanning, repealing taxes on insurance companies, and doing nothing to address the health care of my constituents, and that's very concerning. I yield back. Thank you. Before we move on to strike the last